Yo, what is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Grip and Rip Sports Cards, back here with another video for you guys today. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about 2024 Topps Heritage and also 2024 Bowman and talking about, really, to sum it up the best way I possibly can, which set... Obviously, we know the answer, but which set has the most value? So that's really what today's discussion video is about. So before we get into it, thank you so much for joining me on this video today. Let's try to get 100 likes on this video, and that's the best way you can help me grow this channel is by hitting that like button to show your support for all the content that we make. Speaking of growing the channel, we're doing a giveaway. We're just about to hit 8,000, so make sure you get these steps in before I announce the winner. All you got to do is be subscribed, like this video, turn on the post notifications for all the content, and last but not least, leave a comment in the comment section on what you are looking forward to this baseball season that started, and I'll pick the winner once we hit 8,000, which I do believe we actually hit like today, so thank you for everybody who got me to 8,000. Um, 10,000 is the goal by the end of the year. That is absolutely without a doubt, um, possible. It's, it's possible. It's doable. So thank you to everybody who has watched me over the couple years I've been on here doing this, uh, you know, liking, commenting, subscribing, you know, you name it. Thank all y'all. Um, you know, you guys, you know, if I wasn't, if you guys weren't here, I wouldn't be doing this. So, um, you know, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Just the beginning. Of course, um, we have a long road to go. I'm making videos every single day for as long as I can. So um, believe me, uh, Grip and Rip is not going anywhere. And of course, this video and channel are sponsored by SeatGeek. SeatGeek is the official ticket market of Major League Baseball. Guys, baseball season is here. If you're planning on going to a game this, uh, this season and haven't got tickets yet, guess what? Me and SeatGeek got you covered. For first-time purchasers, of SeatGeek. You could use my code, Grip and Rip, to save $20 off your first purchase. Insane savings to be had. So hit the uh, link in the description, buy some baseball ticks or whatever tickets you want to buy, you know, wrestling, um, you know, football, basketball, hockey, you name it. It works for anything. Let me know. And guess what? If you're a YouTuber, I'll give you a shout out to hopefully get you guys some subscribers. So there is that. So let's get into it. So the first thing I do want to say, of course, is happy Easter to all y'all out there, which I'm assuming most of you, if not all of you, celebrate Easter, um, at least probably about a good 95% of you watching me. So of course, happy Easter to everybody out there. Um, I don't know how many people will watch this video today. I mean, obviously everyone's going to be with their friends and family and loved ones and everything like that. So, um, you know, if you take time out of your day to, to watch me on this Easter, I thank you, because obviously, I know everyone, including myself, has a pretty busy day um, today, so I'd like to thank every one of you for watching this video when you have time. But either way, let's get into it. So, admittedly, sports card news is dry right now. It is. Sports card news is very dry right now. Um, we're in another lull period, um, at least for another, I would say, seven days or so, so really it's not that big of a deal, but, um, you know, Plain Jane Heritage comes out in about, uh, today's Sunday, so about 11, 10, 9 days from now, um, my math is terrible, so don't mind me, but it comes out next Wednesday, so next Wednesday, um, you will be able to go to your hobby stores April the 10th and buy yourselves a hobby box, of heritage right and i said i said to myself i was like you know what let's do a video on this now because i quite frankly have nothing else to upload and of course you guys know i have the longest active upload streak in the hobby i do fun fact look it up i upload a video for 700 days straight from when i started in january of 2022 all the way till now there has been a video every single day day. Fun fact. But either way, I said to myself, you know what? Let's try to compare Bowman to Plain Jane, which 
in first glance, in first glance, you might be saying to yourself, it's a one-sided comparison here. Obviously, Bowman is way better. And you're 100% right. You are a 1,000% right if you agree with that. Now, if you think Heritage is better, that's that's fine as well. I mean, listen, at the end of the day, this video is just my opinion, right? At the end of the day, we have all different opinions. That's what makes this world great. Your opinion differs, uh, differs from mine and vice versa, right? So, you know, what I say here today, don't take this as fact because none of it is. It's just my opinion. But, you know, obviously, you know, the first question I want to tackle in this video is, let's say you have, I don't know, 120, $130, $130, right? In case you guys didn't know, Bowman, by the way, comes out, I believe, if memory serves me correct, the 17th of May. So we are still... Literally about a month and a half, five, six-ish weeks away from Bowman. Which, you know, if you blink, it'll already be here. So, you know, it'll it'll come up really quickly. So Bowman will be here before you know it, right? So let's say you had $130. And you only had $130. And you're like, you know what? I can only buy one of these two sets. What am I going to buy? Well... Let's talk about it. So off first glance, I'll tell you right now. If you had $130 and you only had to buy one set, obviously, without a doubt, you're getting Bowman. Not a, not a hobby box, though. Not a hobby box. Of course, hobby boxes of Bowman are more than $130. they are actually probably, I think, like $250, which is actually pretty insane to think about considering, like, 60% of the product is paper-based. Now, there is chrome in, in regular Bowman, but a lot of the product is paper-based, right? So, Bowman hobby is really expensive, right? But, I mean, let's look at last year, for example. Let's look at last year. The blaster box, as you see one right in the background here, right behind the Paul Skeens card, still cellophane-wrapped and everything. Last year's Bowman Retail, if that's any indication on whether or not Bowman Retail is going to be good, man, I'll tell you right now, put that $130 on some Bowman Retail. And in case you guys forgot, let me give you a little reminder, which I know some of you definitely forgot. <laughs> Walmart sells Bowman Blasters for $35. Target sells them for 30 So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. These blasters are not your $24.99 price. They are $35 and $30, depending on where you buy, which I really don't understand how that even works, by the way. Um, typically, you know, universal price is like a thing. You know, if you go to Walmart and Target, it's the same price. But for whatever reason, over the last couple of years, since the price hike happened in 2022, um, Bowman and, uh, or I should say Bowman and Walmart and Target have been different prices for some reason. I don't understand what that's all about. Um, but either way, Bowman Blasters, easily, I'm telling you right now, gonna be, if they're done like they were last year, that is, which is still a big if. Now, when the odds come out, when the odds come out for Bowman Retail, which should realistically be in about three weeks, four weeks from now, and I can compare them to last year's retail, if they are the same odds, man, I will tell you right now, which they're not going to be the exact same odds, but if they're close, I'm telling you right now, buy the Bowman Blasters like no tomorrow. I opened three blasters. I have at least two or three sealed, one of which is in the background right now. In three blasters, I pulled two autos, which were both numbered, by the way, and I pulled two numbered cards in the other blaster. 
So clearly ask yourself this question. Three Bowman Blasters were $90. I got two autographs and two regular numbered parallels. Hobby boxes do not guarantee you two autographs. Only one. Only one now. They took, I believe they took uh, one away like they did with, with, with uh, what they did with Chrome. But either way, what are you buying? I mean, I know what I'm buying, right? So now, let's talk about Plain Jane, which that's what I, of course, saved this last segment for, right? Plain Jane, hmm. Where do I even begin? You know, there's a reason why I call it Plain Jane. You know, I don't call it Plain Jane just to call it Plain Jane. I call it Plain Jane because it really is Plain Jane. You know, if you're buying a hobby box, which, by the way, is $100, so keep that in mind. Hobby boxes of this product are $100. Keep in mind, last year for high number, 2023 high number, they were $70. $70? And, and as well, same amount of packs, same amount of cards, same amount of hits. One auto or nine times out of ten relic per box. And Tops had the audacity to raise the price $30 for no reason at all. Which people who, of course, look into this stuff, like myself, saw this immediately and questioned why they did this. Realistically, if you buy a hobby box, which, yes, I am going to be buying one because I am stupid. Believe me, I, I really don't want to. But again, here's the thing. There's like a, I would say, five-week gap between Heritage and Bowman. And I need product to keep me covered from then to Bowman. So I kind of have no choice as a content creator to buy it. Don't want to, but I kind of have to. So don't, you know, call me like a hypocrite or something because, quite frankly, you know, I, I have to. Um, but I'll tell you one thing. If I wasn't a YouTuber, if I didn't do this, and if I was just a collector, you know, a normal collector, no YouTube, nothing, and I saw this, I would say get the F out. Seriously, that's exactly what I would say. That's what I did say in my head when I saw that price, right? Realistically, you buy a box for $100, you are probably, unless you get a hot box, which is, I think, one per case or two per case, if you get a regular box, chances are you're probably getting, like, no more than $20 of value. Seriously, think about that. You know, odds, um, I don't believe they're out yet. I do not believe they're out yet, but I will say this. Garrett Cole, from what I did see, is on the cover of this set. So I did see that. I saw the packaging art, um, so that's out there. But I don't believe the odds are out there yet for these boxes. But um, you got to realize, it's a 500-card checklist. This checklist is 500 cards, right? And if you pull a parallel, and let's say you are going after... Well, I won't say Yamamoto because Yamamoto don't even have a card in this set for whatever reason. Let's say, you know, we'll just use Henry Davis because he's a pirate, right? Which, by the way, Henry Davis is doing great so far this season. Pirates, my pirates, 3-0, baby. 3-0, how about that? Um, either way, um, you know, the chances of you pulling a Henry Davis card is literally, a parallel that is, is 1-500. to 500. You have literally a 1-500 to 500 chance to pull a Henry Davis parallel. Now, I will say this. I will say this. There is one positive thing I could say about Plain Jane Heritage is that the autographs, the, I read the checklist. I did read the checklist for the autographs. Pretty nice. I will say that. Pretty, pretty nice what they got cooking on over there with the autographs. But at the same time, how hard are they going to be to pull? Because typically what I've learned over the years and what you guys should look out for, in case you guys don't know what to look out for, whenever a checklist for an autographs is pretty solid, that means those talent don't sign a lot of cards. You know, like let's say, for example, Mike Trout. 
you know. Mike Trout is going to sign less autographs than, let's say, a Henry Davis, because Henry Davis costs less money per autograph than Mike Trout. Mike Trout, if I had to take a guess, I don't know this exactly, but he probably charges around three to four hundred dollars per autograph. And no, I'm not joking. That's how much these Hall of Fame esque future Hall of Fame athletes in any sport, whether it's hockey, football, basketball, baseball, they're all the same. They charge a lot to have. I think I think Derek Jeter charges about four hundred dollars an autograph for anything, you know, so really, you know, think of it like this, you know, less cards of that autograph, like, let's, like, less cards of, of Mike Trout, more autographs of, like, Ellie and Henry Davis, and, like, maybe some lesser-known rookies as well, you know, things like that, so typically what I'm trying to say here is, is if the checklist for the autographs is really good, like Aaron Judge, you know, Shohei, and, you know, uh, Trout, Acuna, uh, Vladdy Jr., you know, people like that. Um, typically, they sign less than rookies. So that means there's less autographs. So I am going to love when these odds come out to see how easy or hard they are to pull. I imagine autographs probably fall like two per case. Probably. That's just my guess. It's really, that's typically what it's like. So that's probably what it's going to be again. But to wrap this video up here, I just wanted to compare the two sets and hopefully, you know, to choose your spending wisely. I mean, obviously, I'm buying both. Um, obviously, I'm going to buy both. Uh, I will buy a lot more Bowman, though, because Bowman is going to be great. I mean, if you don't collect, like, prospect cards and things like that, that's fine. I mean, but at the same time, you're going to want to get a piece of that Bowman pie. I promise you, it's going to be good. And if retail is as good as it was last year for Bowman, that gives you even more of an incentive to go buy retail or buy it online or whatever when it goes up for pre-order. Because it should be going up for pre-order probably in two weeks. If I had to take a guess, two to three weeks time, Bowman goes up for pre-order on Tops.com. So I imagine they'll have retail on there as well. Um, I assume, I'm, I'm just taking a guess, they did last year, I remember. So maybe they will, maybe they won't. But either way, that is all I got for you. That is all I got for you in today's video. So again, we are going to open two more packs of Big League. I'm telling you, man, I'm enjoying Big League. I am. I never thought I would be saying that because I really wasn't a fan of Big League last year, although I did pull an autograph from Big League. Um, but I really didn't like enjoy Big League that much last year. Um, I don't think we have really anything good here, but you never know. Um, Catal Marte, Trey Cabbage, um, Tanner Bibby, um, Everson. I don't even know how to pronounce that last uh, name. But either way, like I was saying earlier, a guy like this is going to have a bunch of autographs. I don't even know who that guy even is. Joey Gallo, uh, Mason Wynn. That's a good one. He should be in Series 2. Um, good Vibrations, Ozzy Albies. And a teammate of his, Spencer Strider, who is a strikeout machine. And we'll probably mow down the Pirates when I go and watch them play each other. Um, yes, so I'm going to watch the Braves play the Pirates. I believe it's May 25th. Yeah, I think that's I think it's what it is. I, I do believe. So what is this? Hmm. We have something here. I think it's just like an insert, though, but it, I don't know. That's pretty weird. Vaughn Grissom, uh, Geraldo Perdomo. Uh, Nolan Chanel, I, I think that's how you say his last name. Andre um, Carlos Stanton, we have a Joe Ryan, we have a Luis Matos, and we have a Zach Geloff. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know what this is, though. <laughs> I have no idea what this even is. Um, so I look at this, and I think to myself, this looks like something you would see like in Las Vegas, like a slot machine with the cherries and things like that. Um, I have no idea what that is. So if someone knows what this is in the comment section, I assume it's an insert of some kind. Um, it's not numbered. I guarantee you it's not numbered. Yeah, it's definitely not numbered. But um, let me know what this is because I'm, I'm curious. I, I don't know what this is. And then we got, oh, look at that. Andrew Rabbit, uncommon rookie. Look at that. So you know what? We'll open one more. We'll open one more. I, I hate opening multiple packs of video, like, but, you know, 
it is what it is. You know, I have to get this cleared out by um by the time that heritage comes along. So it is what it is. It is what it is. So let's see here. We have another moonshot card, I think. Miguel Cabrera, Hunter Brown, Brian Dale Cruz, uh, Jonathan Orneals. I think that's how you say his name. Evan Carter. Evan Carter, that's a good one. Uh, Aaron Judge, also a good one. We have a Adolis Garcia to the moon, rightfully so. This dude hits absolute moonshot. So uh, that is that is very fitting um, for, for him. And then we got a... Alex Verdugo, who is a new Yankee, so that is definitely Photoshopped. You know what? For the sake of Easter, and I feel like opening more, we'll open one more. We'll open one more, and i got to save the rest. i got to save the rest um, because, you know, got to just hold on till till paired. So let's see here. We'll open one more pack. And another Moonshot card. So these Moonshot cards, I'll tell you, I didn't think they were this common, but I guess they are. I didn't. I thought they were like maybe like one or two per box, but we've literally pulled one. I kid you not, in like at least seventy ish percent of the packs. Jorge Soler is the next moonshot. I know Henry Davis has one of these. So I would absolutely love to pull a Henry Davis moonshot card, but again, gotta wait and see. But either way. That's it. That is all I got for you. Uh, I'm going to put these in a binder, actually, probably tonight if I have time. But either way, guys, I'm getting out of here. Let me know what you think. Are you buying both of these sets? Are you buying Bowman? Are you buying Heritage? I know some people will say just Heritage. I'd love to actually know why, but, you know, guess, guess what? Guess what? Everyone has a different opinion, and that's what makes this great. So either way, guys, I'm getting out of here. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next video.